Welcome to the Christmas edition of The Big Match. And if you're wondering where Brian Moore's disappeared to, well, I've always wanted to do this show, so I paid him 20 quid, which is two weeks' wages, and he went away very, very happy. Anyway, we've got a lot of action today on The Big Match. Three matches, Arsenal against Manchester United, Sheffield United against Bristol Rovers, and Burnley against Millwall. And that's 12 goals in those three matches, and we've also got an hour's action-packed programme. I'm... Well, I'm a bit disappointed because the real match of the day was at Darlington yesterday, you know, Darlington nil, Watford nil, but, you know, the cameras couldn't get there. Uh, but now, let me see, I've got some people to help me out uh, today. And for this bantering and on to the real soccer fans at home, we have the first match lined up for us at Highbury. So let's go and join Brian Moore at Highbury now. That was a good win for Arsenal and one that put some fifth in Division 1. And for those of you who have just tuned in, don't switch off yet because I'm looking after the programme today with... Uh, Mike Channon and Kevin Keegan and we've still got action to come from two more games as well as one of the traditional Christmas fun spots and a few other laughs as well oh you bet but, uh, but what I think we ought to do now is to really sort out who scored that Arsenal uh, goal the last goal um, this paper seemed to say it was McDonald today but uh, I, uh, Brian seemed to think it was Frank Stapleton and, and after looking at it I mean really I think it was Frank Stapleton what do you think? What do you think? You, you giving it to McDonald, eh? No, I think Frank Stapleton. Well, it's uh, Stapleton 3, McDonald nil at the moment, I'm afraid. Uh, we'll have to wait to see about that one, to see if McDonald owns up about it. Anyway, now what about the position here, Kevin? Uh, Liverpool have now lost two games. Uh, the uh, Division 1 Championship race much more open now because uh, Aston Villa have closed up, Manchester City are there as well, and yep. of course Ipswich are there. So it's made it, I mean, like four, four or five weeks ago, it looks as if Liverpool were really going to run away with it. Yeah. Possibly write you off after just uh, losing two in a row. I hope not. Right, enough of this talking about Liverpool, because all these London supporters get annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, why don't you do the next link? Oh. <laughs> no, the Watford kind of thing. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, enough of that. Oh, thank you very much. A programme of a million insults, people. Mm -hmm. Right, it's time for one of the big match letters, and I'm going to hand you over to the charming and eloquent Michael Channon. Oh, dear. <laughs> Some of those are pretty good goals as well. I think uh, if I had to vote for one that was the own goal of the year, I think the Ernie Howe one was pretty good. Great header, Ernie. Never mind. Have you scored any own goals between you? Actually, that's a bit special, isn't it? Right, Just old hat that. to you, I suppose, aren't you? Hmm? Old hat, yeah. That's the typical Keegan it's dirt, folks. Huh? Now, this, this is actually a tremendous hat, and I can see why it's taken so much time. Look at this <laughs> detail here. There's me for a start on the piano. Hooray! And uh, the pitch and everything like that. And also floodlights that actually work. If I turn it round there, you'll be able to see it. Look, switch on. They're actually, they're better than Watford's. <laughs> so, that's true. Let me try and see what it looks like. Ah, oh, look at the, what everybody is wearing in 76, folks. Oh, I'm here now. What everybody's wearing in 76 and probably will, will be wearing in 77. Thank you very much, Hazel. It will go in pride of place in my bedroom, along with all my other Watford souvenirs. And uh, that's really tremendous. Thanks very, very much. Right, it's time for more action now. It's enough of us nutcases sitting here talking about uh, silly things. We're going to go over to Sheffield United now for the second division game between Sheffield United and Bristol Rovers at Ramel Lane. F uh, pictures come from Yorkshire Television. There's five goals and the commentator is Martin Tyler. Sheffield United are in the stripes. Away the crowd. There you go, a tremendous Bristol Rovers victory after being two goals down away from home. That's uh, very hard thing to do. Right, on the big match this week we were going to have a competition involving my album Blue Moves but we're running out of time so what we're going to do is postpone the competition until January the 2nd when the big match comes back again and then uh, you'll have the chance to win 12 autographed albums by me. You see if you can't sell them you have to give them away but I tell you what, Hazel, who made my hat, um, you can have one anyway. I'll send you an autographed album anyway through the post. All right, so that's a big match competition on January the 2nd. Oh, I don't know all this attention I'm getting. Right, it always amazes me how much players have changed. I mean, look at Mick Channon. <laughs> when you look back at some of the televised snippets that we see from time to time on the big match, it's like a snippet. And I remember on the Christmas programme last year, they had a good laugh at some photos of top players taken when they were among the junior ranks. So we thought we'd have another go. And I wonder how many of these players that Mick and Kevin will recognise. You're on, Lance. OK, now it's time uh, for you, Kevin, to tell us about the third match. Well, the uh, third match... Oh, I'm being very casual here. I'd just like to tell you that that second uh, Millwall goal was scored by John Seisman. And uh, right now it's one of my favourite moments of the year, one of the bigger moments for me, so I'll do a big fanfare. <laughs> I told you I should have got Ross Conway. <laughs> right, here's uh, Christmas fun spot. Mick, how do the players react to this? 
I think it's I think it's good. <laughs> oh, dear God. oh, that's tremendous. I think that's the best one I've ever seen. Actually, yeah. tremendous. Uh, but hold on, Kevin. Don't uh, laugh too much because they've done one on you. You know. Oh, uh, yeah. oh, oh, oh. Here we go. I don't think players like him. I don't. I think footballers like him. Yeah. Well, what about all these rumours, Kevin, about you uh, going to Spain this year? Sorry, Paul, but you, you know, you, you're not getting away with it. I'm sure. Oh, you, you got one. You stood there <laughs> laughing at me. You know. Oh, you well. can't get away with it. Got one on you, Mick. Come on. Go on this, this is a cracker. This. You love this. Can we? <laughs> oh. No answer to that, is there? <laughs> oh. Oh, so, ma magic. Amazing. Anyway, Brian Moore is not going to get away with it either, because he sits here every Sunday. But I wonder if you know that he's also a director of Third Division, Gillingham. Well, my team, Watford, beat Gillingham the Cup a few weeks ago, and Brian didn't know they were recording his reactions to that news when it came up on his World of Sport monitor that Saturday afternoon. Here's how my team made him suffer. <laughs> Elton John. <laughs> oh. uh, but wait a minute, Elton. It just so happens we, there was a camera in, in the director's box when you had your home match with Swansea. And you were, oh, ju you were jumping about a fair bit yourself. You're joking. Oh, this, is, oh, yeah. this, is, this is our chairman. This is reacts, the best. Is it? Oh. Oh, look. It's a little bit funny. This feeling inside I'm not one of those who can easily hide I don't have much money But boy, if I did I'd buy a big house where <laughs> oh. We both could live and we won that day as well. So it's torture it goes on in football. Two corners to nil. No. <laughs> oh, thank you, Michael. Thank you, Michael. Uh, well, Watford at least do get corners. Anyway, we've all had a great time on the big match, Christmas show, and we'd like to wish everybody a very, very happy Christmas, especially to all the fans everywhere. So from Kevin and Mike, well, Merry, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas yeah. to everybody, OK? All right, are you in good fine form vocally? We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Come on in. We wish.